Noelle Cockett is the 16th president of Utah State University and the first woman to lead this institution. What makes her the right fit starts with her upbringing. There's just a feeling that people who have been in agriculture work hard, they have a good work ethic, they problem solve, um, you know, work till the job's done. Those were characteristics of my childhood and early adulthood. Born outside Miles City, Montana, Noelle is the third of six children. From the start, she had a passion for learning. I like school and like the competition of getting the top grades. Summers and holidays were spent working at her uncle's ranch with her two older brothers. Uh, for several years, we artificial inseminated, and so we had to ride uh, and bring in the cattle. During her time on the ranch, she learned valuable lessons that would help her years down the road. You do what you do well and find out what you can do well. After high school, Noel went west to Montana State University. Uh, when I was a junior, I took a genetics class and really enjoyed the combination of math and biology. From there, it was off to Oregon State to pursue a master's and doctorate degrees. She came here as a student in quantitative genetics and animal breeding. It was at OSU where she started her research. She was looking for genetic variation in uh, newborn calves and their response to antibodies and so forth, and then later other factors in dealing with, with uh, cattle health. She didn't spend all of her time on research. Well, we all went on a river trip. It's just a little day trip on the North Santa Ana River. So that's the first time Noel and I met there. It was in Corvallis where she met her husband John through a mutual friend. He played men's lacrosse and I played women's rugby. And so we would get the two teams together. And so that was fun too. In 1990, Noel joined Utah State University. I came to Utah State as an assistant professor in the Department of Animal, Dairy and Veterinary Sciences. Up until this point, Noel's research had been on cattle, but at USU, the cattle were assigned to other projects. So they asked me if I would be interested in working with sheep uh, because they were available and I agreed. And so I've continued to work with sheep since then. Noel and her team look at the genetic region that influences different traits in sheep. We collect samples from each of the animals we're studying, extract DNA from that sample, and then look for genetic differences in that animal's DNA that helps predict whether or not it has that trait. They've looked at various traits from bone disorders to eye disorders. A couple of the traits that we've looked at do directly correspond to things in humans. For instance, the bone deformity uh, is actually in a gene that's been very well studied in humans. One of her biggest breakthroughs was the discovery of the sheep genome. She led the effort to identify the genetic makeup of sheep. The sheep sequence looked at things that make sheep unique. The wool, for instance, and where are all those genes within the sequence? and why do cattle and humans not have wool? The discovery was published in the journal Science and has now been widely used by researchers all around the world. There were about six of us that were the major drivers behind that, so it was a lot of celebration. It was fun. As her research advanced, so did her career and her family. She and John have two children, Dylan and Chantel. Noelle moved through the faculty ranks from assistant professor to associate professor to full professor, leading to a taste of administration but never abandoning her research. In 1999, she was asked to be interim dean of the grad school, an offer she took. At the time, I was teaching and doing research, and for the first year, I tried then to do all three things. Noelle stopped teaching in 2000. For the next 17 years, she would wear several different administrative hats. And when I became president, we, we basically really loaded her down. She was uh, vice president for extension, Dean of the College of Agriculture, Director of the Agriculture Experiment Station. In 2013, she became the Provost of Utah State University, a position she held until 2017 when she became President. She just continued to grow and mature and become better and better and better. And so uh, when it was time for me to step down and go on to other things, she was a natural for the role as President. She admits she brings a different feel to the President's chair, a sentiment echoed by others. When you uh sit down with her, you'll have t trouble telling that she's the president of the university because she's very down to earth. Noelle's focus now is on taking Utah State into the future. That people who didn't 
think that they had an opportunity for post-secondary education. They actually had that experience because of things that I was able to do at Utah State. From a ranch hand to a world-renowned scientist to now the president of Utah State University, Noel Cockett is a true pioneer of progress.